one of the things I remembered from pathology A, so it's the first of the three major classes you take in pathology, was something that the professor said, which is he said, um, no doctor has more experience with what it is to have heart attacks than pathologists because 50% of the people who have a heart attack die on their first heart attack. So he said, I'm seeing 50% of the people who have a heart attack and their first presentation is death. Right. So I kind of remembered that and it's a very sobering fact, right? To think that half the time, and again, I don't think that's true today, but I think 25 years ago, that was the case. The numbers are probably a bit better today. Uh, it might be a third of first events are fatal, but nevertheless, it was sobering. So you have this sort of weird factoid that's again, off in the recesses of my brain somewhere. And then you hand me this textbook and it actually made sense with what he said, because in addition to going through in great detail, the pathological staging of atherosclerosis, it had many, I mean, it was littered with autopsy sections of coronary arteries of people who had died for other reasons. Um, and, and notably they were quite young, right? So here's a 26 year old yeah. male victim of a gunshot wound. Here's a 27 year old female who died in a motor, motor vehicle accident. Here's a so-and-so and so-and-so. And, so and, so. and when you look at their coronary arteries, you realize they already have atherosclerosis. They already have oxidized ApoB bearing particles engulfed by macrophages and thickened intima. And while they may not have calcification in their arteries yet, or the types of plaque that would rupture within the ensuing weeks or days or months, they nevertheless had atherosclerosis and they were in their twenties and in their thirties. So all of a sudden what this professor said 20 some odd years earlier made sense, which is this, this was now an explanation. This was a bridge to explain what otherwise seemed hard to understand. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.